Firstly, he was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, to whom also a special promise was made concerning Christ. Hence, he willed to be born at Bethlehem, where David was born, in order that the very birthplace the promise made to David might be fulfilled. The evangelist points out this by saying, because he was of the house and of the family of David. Secondly, because, as Gregory says, Bethlehem is interpreted the house of bread. It is Christ himself who said, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. As David was born in Bethlehem, so also did he select Jerusalem to set up his throne and to build there the temple of God, so that Jerusalem was at the time a royal and priestly city. Now Christ's priesthood and kingdom were consummated principally in his passion. Therefore, it was becoming that he should choose Bethlehem for his birthplace and Jerusalem for the scene of his passion. Likewise also he silenced the vain boasting of men who take pride in being born in great cities, where also they desire especially to receive honor. Christ, on the contrary, willed to be born in a mean city and to suffer reproach in a great city. 2. Christ was born at a suitable time. When the fullness of time was come, God sent his Son, made of a woman, made under the Lord. There is this difference between Christ and other men, that whereas they are born subject to the restrictions of time, Christ, as Lord and Maker of all time, chose a time in which to be born, just as he chose a mother and a birthplace. And hence, since what is of God is well ordered and becomingly arranged, it follows that Christ was born at a most fitting time. Christ came to bring us back from a state of bondage to a state of liberty, and therefore, as he took our mortal nature in order to restore us life, so as St. Bed says, he designed to take flesh at such a time that shortly after his birth, he would be enrolled in Caesar's censors and thus submit himself to bondage for the sake of our liberty. Moreover, at that time, when the whole world lived under one ruler, peace abounded on the earth. Therefore, it was fitting time for the birth of Christ, for he is our peace, who hath made both one, as it is written. Again, it was fitting that Christ should be born while the world was governed by one ruler, because he came to gather his own children of God together into one, so that there might be one fold and one shepherd. Christ wished to be born during the reign of a foreigner that the prophecy of Jacob might be fulfilled. This scepter shall not be taken away from Judah, nor a ruler from his tie, till he come that is to be sent. Because as Chrysostom says, as long as the Jewish people were governed by Jewish kings, however wicked, prophets were sent for their healing. But now, that the law of God is under the power of a wicked king, Christ is born, because a grave and hopeless disease demanded a more skillful physician. Christ wished to be born when the light of day begins to increase in land, so as to show that he came in order that man might come nearer to the divine light, according to St. Luke, to enlighten them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. In like manner, he chose to be born in the rough winter season, that he might begin from then to suffer in body for us. Happy Boxing Day, and God bless you.